Ikigai, the art of living life's purpose. Tim Tamashiro is a successful jazz musician from Alberta, Canada, and for 20 years, he was immersed in music, from performing with bands, singing at events, and in front of prime ministers and royalty, and for writing this book, How to Ikigai, Lessons for Finding Happiness and Living Your Life's Purpose. My cousin Angeline gifted me with a bestseller by Hector Garcia and Francesca Miralles titled Ikigai, The Japanese Secret to a Long and Happy Life. Not so secret anymore, it seems, this ideology that originated from Okinawa, Japan. Spaniards Garcia and Miralles interviewed residents of the Japanese village with the highest percentage of 100-year-olds, one of the world's blue zones in Okinawa, Japan. They observed and studied the following of the Okinawans how and what they ate, how they moved, how they worked, how they fostered collaboration and community, and their best kept secret, how they would find the ikigai that brings satisfaction to their lives. This is what they found. Number one, stay active and don't retire. Number two, Leave urgency behind and adopt a slower pace of life. Number three, only eat until you are 80% full. Number four, surround yourself with good friends. Number five, get in shape through daily gentle exercise. Number six, smile and acknowledge people around you. Number seven, reconnect with nature. Number eight, give thanks to anything that brightens our day and makes us feel alive. Number nine, live in the moment. And number ten, follow your ikigai. So I decided to do a quick check on what others thought of the concept, especially Japanese people, including foreigners who live in Japan. What is ikigai? Melbourneian editor in Japan, Lucy Damon, wrote about the origin of ikigai in an online magazine, Savvy Tokyo. Here's what she wrote. The origin of the word Ikigai goes back to the Heian period, 794 to 1185. Clinical psychologist and avid expert of the Ikigai evolution, Akihiro Hasegawa, released a research paper in 2001, where he wrote that the word Gai comes from the word Kai, which translates to shell in Japanese. During the Heian period, shells were extremely valuable. So the association of value is still inherently seen in this word. It also can be seen in similar Japanese words like hatarakigai, which means the value of work, or yarigai, garu, which means it's worth doing it. Studying Ikigai as one's Ikigai. I also found Ikigai Tribe, a podcast by Ikigai coach Nick Kemp. His Ikigai is about what Ikigai truly means to the Japanese and how you can find it to make your own life worth living. This first episode by Nick Kemp features Professor Akihiro Hasegawa of Toyo Ewa University, one of Japan's leading researchers and experts on Ikigai. Together, 
they discuss the meaning and origin of the word ikigai. His research, the mother of ikigai psychology, Miko Kamiya, and more. One of the takeaways from the podcast was his study in dementia patients. Patients with strong sense of ikigai deferred dementia. A diagram depicted in Garcia and Mirales' book about the meaning of ikigai went viral very, very quickly, but it turns out many Japanese people disagreed and didn't think that it was a good representation of the concept. It was a gentrified version, simplified and wrongly inserted a line that you can be paid for, which was something of err to the original ideology. Google Ikigai diagram images, and you will see so many versions plagiarized from one to another, but based on a wrong interpretation, a peril of good information that's wrongly interpreted, but gone viral. I found Karl Kowalski's slow S-L-O-W-W movement as he described the origin of the diagram in detail, the Ikigai concept. So what is really the true meaning of Ikigai and how can one achieve it? A Japanese proverb states this, only staying active will make you want to live a hundred years. In a podcast interview, Hasegawa Sensei shared that Ikigai was a way of life and not so much something you do that you can be paid for. Health, intellectual activeness, social roles in communities, family structure, especially in rural areas. These were the core areas of Ikigai, as described by Hasegawa Sensei. Peggy Oki talks about flow and movement, and it's clear that her Ikigai is sharing tales about the Cetacean nation. A surfer, skateboarder, activist, Artist Peggy founded the Origami Whales Project in 2004 to raise awareness about commercial whaling. She has also developed the Whales and Dolphins Ambassador Program and led campaigns such as Let's Face It, which petitions to save New Zealand's critically endangered Maui's dolphins and Hector's dolphins. Peggy's quote. Follow your heart with vision and actions. Create your own folds and you will connect with your purpose in life. So I thought I'd end this Ikigai piece with a real life example, like Peggy's story. She appears on a TEDx and the link is in the article. I'm sure we'll each find our own way, whichever way that works for us. But one thing is true. It's about having a deep sense of purpose. This post was originally published in asiafitnesstoday.com. I'm Jasmine Lowe, 